Testing. Any of you boys seen an aircraft carrier around here?
Shoot! There's Viper. Three o'clock low. Stay with Hollywood, Mav. We're his cover. Don't you leave me, Maverick. Hollywood, you're looking good. I'm going after Viper. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome back to another Flight Simulator stream. And we are in the Hawaiian Islands. Thanks for joining. And thanks for the guys in the chat. I'll catch up on that in a moment. Uh, so we are flying the Hawaiian Islands and we are flying the Hellcat. Uh, I haven't flown the Hellcat too much. And I think Stu's with me today and Stu hasn't flown it very much as well. So that's gonna be quite fun. Uh, but I hope everybody's doing well, uh, whatever time it is in wherever you are in the world. Uh, and it's going to be a pretty chilled flight. Uh, and yes, we do have, and my apologies to username withheld, we do have the Seafront Simulations, uh, basically everything. We've got the Hawaiian Islands, we've got the ship in, we've got everything uh, in this one here. So check it out and you can go check, in, check out the uh, payware over at Seafront Simulations, which I'll put a link out there at the moment. Sorry, my second screen has just gone a blank, uh, so I can't see the chat. Jeez, I have it, but thought others might like the link. Yeah, username withheld. I will make sure I add that to the description once the stream is done, uh, and I might pop it in every now and then in there, but uh, great idea. I normally do put the mods in, such as uh, the uh, BJ mods and, and things like that, but I've, t oh, sorry, links in the description, but I obviously didn't this time. Uh, and let's see, so Shu, a good day, mate. I think you uh, said you're quite new as well to this aircraft. You uh, put a quote there, fun fact, Top Gun Maverick uses the F-14 Tomcat, the uh, A version. Uh, I think it's very odd, the last version was the D, uh, with, which had a bit more power. So that's pretty cool. Do you think the F-18 versus the SU-57 was, uh, which one would win? Is that what you said? Which one would win or what would win? I'm going to drink a lot of beer and stay out all night. <laughs> and Stu is going to drink a lot of beers. Was that you who did that, Stu? Uh, no, that was Russell. Good day, Russell. How are you, mate? Let's catch it up and chat. Ginger Fox Clan, good day. I am doing very well, thank you. And I hope you're doing all right as well. Uh, 
And uh, then we had a username. Hey, how you going, mate? Uh, good to see you in the chat. Uh, you can come and join us if you want. Uh, the links are in my Discord, which should be below uh, for the flight plan. But otherwise, uh, I will let you know we are... Is it uh, Hotel India 25 is where we take it off on? The, uh, I'm going to be very probably poor in the pronouncing some of these names today. So Kalaki Airstrip, which as you can see is uh not not very big at all not very long and not very big so yeah it's gonna be interesting full load of fuel we can get off uh on this strip probably the first time i like to be honest straight up uh first time i'm flying that i probably don't have the realism as high as i would i have uh most things will be but uh one thing is because i haven't flown this very much uh i'll probably crash it on a landing but uh, you can always put uh, exclamation mark, I think, aeroplane crash or crash plane, crash aircraft. Every time I do, we can count how many times I can do that. But hopefully not. Sandman, a good day, how are you? And Russell, a good day, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Abstar Gaming, hello, how are, how are you doing? Oh, exclamation mark, plane crash did not work. Have a look below, I think, I in the description, I think I now should have all of the uh the soundbite files actually i'm going to look myself because i do all the sound bites. so it's just called exclamation mark crash i thought oh, exclamation mark plane crash should have worked but it didn't hmm so there's two types of crashes because uh i do do different types of uh sims so you can use the different crashes different uh different simulations just uh, organize my window because again I'm having issues on my window. Oh! We're going down! Hey! But every time I do put the plane into the ground, you can uh, you can throw that one up. So uh, let's get started. So we can get on with the flight. But thank you everybody for joining me. I gotta remember how to start this thing. Uh, all right, uh, we got the right tank of fuel. Oh, it's already here. I will just double check. Pop the full fuel in. Now let me know once the engine starts. Oh, uh, if the sounds are too loud. The pumps are on. Probably not starting this thing the way it should be started, but let's see if we can get it to kick over. I've got fuel pressure, which is good. Sandman, why? Oh, oh, come on, let's. Uh, what if Sandman? Why you banned me, Dove and Mario? We were just raiding you, and you called us slurs on my level. All right, come on, let's uh, keep it nice in the chat. Everyone, get along well, and, and let's just get on with the flight. From right, here we go. Take off, lock wings, mixture rich. Yes, the mixture is rich. Set block, well off, fuel pump on. Yes, cow flaps. Yes, take tabs, wing flaps. Yes, all right, cool. And I think when I'm in the air, I've got to put this to open. I think, oh well, we can do that in the air. We'll do the oil to have it. All right, you've already gone in the air. Where are you, shoot? I actually think you got to close this take off. Yeah, I know. I just noticed that sad man. So we'll keep an eye on it. But thank you, Stu. Just be aware, Stu. They might come back as other names. So just be aware of that. We'll open the car flaps once we get in the air. Uh, okay, let's go. Oh, lights, 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 lights. I did uh, forget something. 
radio on. Lights on. Put the formation lights on. That should be on already. The lights on. No, the one on and on. On and on. on. Put on bright, maybe that's why. Already on. Already on. There we go. Good. What happened, Stu? You ended up over there. I will fly eventually to New York. Ah, username, tip. Uh, message deleted by Stu. I don't think he made, meant to delete that uh, Stu uh, username with help. Tips, turn up the ground wind with uh, any seafront stuff, but maybe after takeoff. Yeah, I do. Yeah, because of the wake and stuff. It looks really cool. Now, uh, I agree. Um, let's just uh, get on with the show now. Get uh, taken off. In the air. Hopefully with a full load of fuel. We can get uh, off the ground, hey. Oh, no, I didn't think. No, I do about that. Props. You're on the phone, Stu. Ah, that's right. You did say you were going to be on the phone. Phone. Go to the external view. Oh. <laughs> Stu's on the phone, he's just wandering down the hill. Come on, let's go. On to the... Give us a bit of a, a run up here. Gonna trim her out a bit. Go from there. What is the wind? So we're on live weather at the moment. We've got 11 knots, basically, headwind. So that should help us out. Skyrim Zeke, how are you? Thanks for joining. Yeah, Stu's just lining up behind us. All right, let's see how wonky we can take off today with the old, uh, pretty well a bit wonky here. Yeah, what's going on? Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's off the runway a little, that's all right. Not going to hurt anyone. And we say bye-bye. <laughs> lucky those trees, hey. I took off to the left of those trees. That was pretty lucky. We have got a very heavy load. We're full fuel today. We're actually heading off straight up at the moment anyway. So we'll do a couple of touch and goes because a lot of these airfields are close together. Um, but we're pretty much, depending on time, we may be able to cover the full all the islands today. So we'll just see how we go, what we get up to. I do have to go down. I'll put this into autopilot in a moment. Go and set up the better views. How are you today, anyway, Sky and Gamer Zeke and Russell? Oh, we've got to do the canopy. Get the canopy. Right. Let's get the canopy going. Now we're speeding up, we get that on, and we're going to go down. 
put you on you. Remind me all to change those tanks because uh, I always forget to switch tanks. You might lag it behind a bit. He's on his phone call at the moment. Wait. Three. Three must have been a screw up a little. We're flying over beautiful Kauai today. Now it'll run pretty well, but we'll see how it runs as we get uh, closer to more populated areas. There's just a couple of airfields around here. Go around so we can have a look. Uh, is it, is it Pahala? Down below us? This is too close as airfield, so we won't uh, land over here at the moment. But in the next one, we will. But that one is Hotel India 28. Put up the mountain. Your good, Russell. Fantastic. Looks like we're getting a lot of disconnections. Um. So the uh, volcano. Can't wait to get to the water to see the sea freight sea from simulations Hawaii. Uh, shipping, which is pretty cool. This boat will show you around the way and it's going to throw you around there. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> and you pop there. crash for the day. Lots of birds up here.
on the flat plane, guys. Once we're over this hill, just making sure we get over this hill. I'm going to get back on to looking at chat, guys. So just uh, bear with me. Not a hill, it's a volcano. Steep climb from where we uh, headed off from. It's interesting, all my uh, streaming screens are all going blank, so I don't know if you guys can see anything at the moment on the stream. I'm hoping it's all okay. Oh, look at that. I've got the bird, I've got the bird mod on as well. See, it's another thing I've forgotten to put in the chat, in the uh, description, so sorry about that, guys. Yeah, to get to the peak. But how good is the Hellcat? It sounds awesome. It flies really well, realistically, in terms of the realism. Yep, cow flaps are open, shoo! We are good to go, mate, good to go. I'll double check that once we get to the peak. Get to the top of the volcano here. Awesome, here we are. If you haven't already, I smashed the like. Hey, DJ, how you doing? What's going on? Yeah, as I was saying, smash the like if you haven't already. Please subscribe. Tells YouTube that we're streaming. All right, now we can get a bit of speed up. Throttle back a little bit so we don't overheat. I'm poop by, you pop by. I thought you were going to say you poop by. <laughs> to what you're streaming. Hey, check, what's this big? Go and check this out. I see a pop. Oh, down here. Check that out. That is awesome. Bird strike, that's what I need to put on the bird strike. Alright, let's uh, level up. Okay, that's it. Alright. You're back? <laughs> Good. It's cheering right spot. Alright. Check it out. Looking absolutely awesome. So uh, we've hit the uh, peak, now we're going to head back to the coast, we're going to fly over the water a bit, we'll see what we can find in, in terms of shipping and see if we can see any warships, which would be pretty cool. You wait, Matt, there. 
Where? Where's the QA block at? Oh, we're in Hawaii, DJ. Hawaii. Uh, let's make sure we do have those cows. Yeah. Cool. We do have modern tech on this aircraft, so you can have them. I'm using autopilot so you can see some of the views. Do have it, so everything's running pretty well. Dynamic pressure, we're, all, we're doing stressing. We're not stressing the aircraft too much, which is good. We're sitting at 14, so we're probably going to head down a bit so we can see the coastline. And uh, we can uh, check out any shipping that's down there. That it's pop down. Been over here in the Tomcat. Actually, that would be pretty cool, Stu. We actually will fly back up this mountain over here where Stu is. So we're flying towards the coast. We're going to go up the coastline. Then we actually fly back up this mountain, uh, which has some pretty good scenery up the top there. Warships are scattered near the Oli Islands, but mostly around Honolulu. So head there. You miss some right outside Kuala. No. That's alright, username. Thank you very much. You're legendary for helping me out there. We're heading now towards... Uh, where are we heading now towards? Hawaii, Hawaiian Paradise Park. We're heading that way. And then we're heading to... Hilo? 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 Hilo Bay, yeah. We'll head up there. So there's lots of shipping around there I can see. But we'll be able to see a bit out there. So we're heading that way now. Yeah, I gave it a bit of a test run uh, uh, username with help. And uh, when I loaded up all that scenery, uh, it looks absolutely stunning. You're 100% right there. I've seen a submarine somewhere but can't remember. Yeah, I've been looking for that. I've seen the submarine stationed uh, in uh, Honolulu. Uh, but I haven't seen any of the ones actually navigating and moving around. So it would be good if we can spot some of those. Who's going up the hill? Hey, Stu, we're heading that way anyway. We're, gonna, we're heading to the coast now. Then we're heading back up exactly that mountain that you're going up at the moment. But it's heading to 7,000 feet so we can at least get... Uh, and then we can sweep down. But how good does this aircraft look? Done. Beautiful. Do I do a touch and go? Yeah, why not? That's what you guys are all here for, to see how much I can crash. Let's touch and go that. Okay, where we got wings, we have to come around. Okay. Auto pilot off. It's a Hellcat. It's a Hellcat, uh, DJ. All right, just trying to get myself uh, aligned for where we're coming into uh, Mountain View Airstrip. We're going to do a touch and go. First touch and go for the day. So we uh, get through the flight plan, we won't be landing at every airfield. Otherwise, we won't get... Uh, I'd like to get the full 
Adams got a word with the horn a little. Brett plays, good old pilots. Where are we off to today? We are in the Hawaiian Islands. Checking out Seafront Simulations uh, Hawaiian Islands shipping, so which will be pretty cool. We're not <laughs> obviously checking out any shipping right now, uh, but we're heading towards the coast, so we'll start seeing some soon. I'm just about to do a suicidal uh, uh, touch and go because uh, I have not uh, landed the Hellcat very much, and uh, I know it can be quite tricky. Only a touch and go for this one. Oh, the wind has changed. Ooh. The wind's just changed direction, guys. I have to do a go around here. We'll fly about, see where we're landing. There it is, just down there. Uh, so it's having some trouble with the uh... happy Halloween. Yes, you're right. Still a while though. It's it's tonight. Ready for the loud bang. You go in Mac one. <laughs> uh, no, I'm coming in for landing, Stu. Way too high, but that's what I always do. Shot, which is what I always do. Oh, I haven't. I mean, alright. I love this plane. How long are you flying? Oh, for quite a while still going. We uh, just started, basically, so it'd still be another couple hours. Uh, I was going to touch and go, and I just noticed there is a... Uh, this is way too fast, so I'm not going to touch and go. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta watch that wing drop. 
No touch and go here, guys. I was going to hit uh, that uh, hanger. Didn't know. Didn't do the hanger at the end. <laughs> you don't get to see the first crash. Uh, we're just heading towards Hawaiian Paradise, uh, and then we're heading towards the coast. Uh, and we've just, that was just, uh, Mountain Paradise or Mountain View Airfield? It was, uh, Hotel India 23. Yeah, DJ, you didn't want to see me crash into that, uh, hangar. <laughs> Everybody else probably did. <laughs> uh, Let's head towards the coast. Stay low. No problems, DJ. Just let me know, Garland, when you're jumping in and I can let you know what we're close to. External tanks. Oh, well. That's a good shot, Stu. Nice shot. Good flying, Stu. How are you this morning, anyway, Brett? Here we go. One thing, looking at uh, a little lab map, the ships aren't for. Oh, there you go. You can start sh seeing some ships now. Let's see if we can see any Navy ships, part of the uh, add on from Seafront Simulations. Yeah, Duno, it seems like I spent most of the night listening to pouring rain and not slept, but I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, we had a bit of rain too. And wind here. The wind was shocking. I don't know about you, but the wind was insane. Take some hand control. Go check out 
what type of does it actually say? It tells me to fire. Look like any naval ship, navy ships at the moment. Oh, I've got a. Oh, looks like I'm going to crash the desktop. No, I don't. Just a freeze. Okay, good. I don't. Should just let me. It's the starter. It must have been loading in some shipping or something. Is your ground wind up? Not many waves. Oh, okay. Yes, you're right. All right I'm going to do this. I'm going to pause it. Uh, we're going to increase the away. Take off uh, We're going to just do. Let's do. Alright. And then we will. Oh, we're going to do this. There we go. How about that? Right about. About there. About 10 knots. It's going to be a bit shaky up here, guys. I might actually change that. We'll do a few clouds. And we'll change the wind. About so, yeah, about there. I'll even turn that up a bit more in a sec. Oh yes, see ships, all right. What's your recommendation, uh, username withheld? How many, uh, what sort of wind speed should I have? Is that about right, or do you think I should have a few more waves out there? It's, it's not that wavy, is it? There's not that many white caps. The only thing in the bay here. Not, oh, yep, there is some in the bay. See you later. I normally go for four plus. Well, we've got nine, I think, at the moment. We're heading 13 knots. That's all right. We'll be fine. We'll head into the... That's why it actually... I can see why it froze before, because of the city here. Uh, is it Hilo? Hilo? I know night even looks awesome with the ships and boats. We're going to head up the hill again now. We're going up the mountain again, so. Thanks, DJ. I'll see you around, mate. Go and have some sleeps. It's like 2 or 3 a.m. for you. You lost power in the plane. Oh, Garwin's in the air. Hello, Garwin. Forgot about uh, Hello International. We're actually not landing there. We're going straight up here. Where are we? Yes, we are. We're going up the hill a little. And then we're going to go back to the coast. This small. Some yachts, I think. Yeah, we've got some yachts around. We've got to change fuel tanks soon, anyway. I'll probably lose power because I've got the. I have got it set on real. I should turn that realism off actually because I don't want to spoil the scenic flight by crashing into the ground. Alright, we're going to land. Here, we're going to do a touch and go. Where's the wind coming from? 12 knots of wind is going to be pretty. Make it a bit easy for me to land actually. Depends how small this strip is. That I don't know.
Lost power in the plane, out of gas. Yeah, you forgot to switch the tanks. I'm at 21%. So I do need to switch. Soon. Trying to see where this field is. It looks like it's just in here. Like a grass strip on it. Down there. Looks like it's grass. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it is it. Yes, it is. It is it. Do you reckon it's the grass or do you reckon it's that on the left? I don't reckon it's the wrong way, to be honest. Cutting right in the middle of it. Oh, no, it is. No, it is. Uh, land anyway, huh? Oh. Land. Oh, I'm going to hit something. Was that the airport? I think it was. Oh yeah, there's a fuel tanker there. <laughs> London fuel tanker. Nice one. All right, let's go take off. There's Stu for a flyby. All right, just remember when we get up in the air. Actually, I can refuel. Ah! Jesus. Someone's waiting for that one. It's going to refuel anyway because there's a tanker here and we're on. Eat it. That's how we worry about it later. Guys, I'll be up in the air in a moment. Here he is, so I'm a bit worried I'm going to flip this up. What a view though from up here. That's really stunning. Oh, that tree is going to be in the way. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. We'll do a couple of touch and goes down so we don't waste so much time. This is an awesome place for a run, uh, an airfield though. Peeper Kale? Where are we going next?
the flyer. We're going to fly straight over to the coast. And then just fly up the coast again. Darwin and Stuart dogfighting. <laughs> Damn, there's no ships around. Oh, there's a couple of boats in the bay. Look at that. The inlet there. That's awesome. see more tankers moving off the coast. Uh, Hilo, did you restart the flight or load from the main menu? Moving boats don't... Moving boats don't load in with restarts, apparently. Uh, I didn't restart. But I know of. Maybe on my next... Uh, yeah. And maybe on my next landing I can um, restart the whole sim and see if we can get those boats in there. I have to admit, you're right, I haven't seen any moving boats at all. Yeah, boat traffic's at 100, but I'll just double check. Yeah, leisure boats, ships, and ferries. Yeah, it's all at 100. We just, uh, I'll do both. I'll tag it in, tag it up. Buy it. Chase down Garland and our stew. Hey, you really are dog fighting YouTube. <laughs> I 
I normally see more travel in Hawaii. I'm not by my PC to join and check. Yeah, so far I'm not. Look, Seafront make amazing stuff, so I'm not disappointed. There must be something going on. But as I said, next um, airfield, we'll do a full, not the one coming up, we'll overfly that so we can keep on track. But uh, we will, we're, we're going away from the coast anyway for a moment. So we're going to the other side of the island. So we need to get some altitude, uh, Stu and Garland, because we're going over the island in a moment. Which has a nice uh, volcano, I'm guessing, in front of us. Actually, I think this is the one with the observatories on top, isn't it? I think. Could be wrong. I'm not not uh, familiar with the area. Level five percent fuel. Could switch to drop tanks. That looks good. Yep, we're heading up there. good username we've held I will uh, hopefully one day you can join anyway Gal is forming up forming up on the right side right here. we head up trying to get the name of the mountain someone will probably tell me in the chat though We're doing Canary Islands next with ferries and cruise ships and moving hard decks. Bring on Halle. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll always be getting every seafront simulation as add on because yeah, I love that immersion. I'm a GA. I like to fly GA pretty much in all my flights. Uh, so, slow, low. Well, these aren't that slow, but. Or, or these type of vintage aircraft, so I love, I love flying this sort of stuff, so you can see the sights. So whenever you get those shipping in the sim, it looks stunning. That down there. I just hope we don't overheat, I'm trying to get on top of this uh, other tube that we need. Dude, you better get up high, mate. You're going to grab some altitude to get up this hit, this volcano. Come on, on my floor. Ah, there he is. Ha <laughs> ha, going. Showing us how it's done. With uh, Microsoft's uh, laggy thin power. Yeah, you better get up, Stu. I'll <laughs> be in trouble down there. Especially if you got realism on the... Uh, Hellcat switched on, you're going to overheat it trying to get the altitude. About 14, 14, 13,000 feet I think this one is. And here. Hellcat engines in on my wing. That sounds so good. The mountains are called Moana Los and Moana Kia Twin Mountains. Thank you, Brett. I was going to jump on my little nav map, but because I'm hand flying, I didn't want to look 
and scroll the screen now I can see it. it's just popped up on me it's got the James Clerk Maxwell telescope on the top a couple of flybys of these awesome telescopes which is pretty cool the observatory up here it's still down there shoe once you get up oh there's Darwin go have a look at some of this uh, scenery up here I have been up to both in real life. Awesome, Brett. That's awesome. Never been here. Getting a few stutters up here. Don't know why when there's only a couple of uh, models up here. All the land's barren. So it's quite bad that it's uh, stuttering a bit. Sweet views, oh yeah, look at, actually, you know, the weather set at what I've got at the moment, just not, just beautiful with the clouds, just the mountain top peeking through the top of the clouds, absolutely gorgeous. We'll do a couple of flybys here, guys. This looks really cool. Oh, one is popped in. There we go. Look at that. That's sweet. Come around again for another pass before we head down the mountain. The volcano. Let's head down the mountain. Check the road going up there. <laughs> hey Brett, since you've been here in real life, it must take a while to get to the top. It'd be a bit of a trip. We've got an army, Bradshaw Army Airfield up here, which will give us plenty of, uh, there it is down there. Yeah, I was going to say it would take absolutely ages, unless you put, took a heli up there, I guess, if they allow it. Alright, let's land at this airfield, guys. Brett Pound, other Brett has been up there as well. Long windy road. Yeah, tell me about it. What it looked like. We can stay on the runway this time. I'll go off to the side. I think I'm just going to stall this. Am I going to stall this or not? Oh. 
Fight in a little bit. Starbug, how you doing? See them coming for land. They're coming. How you doing, Brett? Brett Pound. Two Brits. Gonna get a bit further off. Nice place for an airfield. Nice one, Garwin. Nice one. Oh, he's done a bit of wobbles. Uh, I do that all the time. <laughs> uh. How about Stu? Get a little wobbles. Oh, Stu just instantly stopped. Right. Gotta be confusing with the two Brits. <laughs> Alright, let's turn around. And Let's go head off again. Good job, guys. Everyone's in one piece. That's all that matters. You need to refuel, refuel, but uh, I'm just going to head back out. Head back to the coast, see what we can see in shipping. Well, it's definitely not a hot and steamy day here. <laughs> I don't know the exact temperature, but it's probably in the 30 or 50. Oh, we got, we got a, a sort. Bit of a cheeky, uh, where is he? There he is. Look at me. Starbug in the F-35. Better go and uh, taxi down and take him. Try a reload. You want me just to reload the, yeah, not the whole sim, so just the map. Okay, I'll do that, I'll stop here. So we're just having trouble with the seafront simulations, everyone. We've got all the uh, extras, the Hawaiian Islands and all that sort of stuff. The shipping's coming up, but it's not moving. Whoa! <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just get at the end of the runway here. Oh, I might as well stop. I'm just gonna quickly log, out of just the flight plan, not the whole sim, and then reloading, I can readjust my flight set. So I'll see you back here in about two minutes, maybe? So I'll see you back in a sec, guys.
just adjusted the flight plan so I'll be on runway 27 ready to rock and, uh, put full fueling once it gets loaded up Oh, that was that was good. I told it I wanted to take off from two seven, and it took me at nine. Oh well. Let me just uh, put those. Keep it here. Keep it. Won't change the weather. I just want to refuel, and then we'll take off. Alright, take it off guys. All right, let's head down the back down the hill mountain back towards the coast and let's hope we can find some ships that are moving. What a brilliant area. Also to have a few of you on the flight as well. Great to see. And it's a great place to fly, so why wouldn't you? Really Want to be out here flying. Uh, not the whole sim. Okay, not bad timing. Yeah, you username uh, withheld man. Bad timing. It is bad timing. Well, next time. Next time. I don't know where the other because obviously I'm flying the Oz, which I'm uh, the Oz Australian Australia flight every second week. I don't know where the next one will be. I am thinking Panama, but that's that's um. Well, Panama Canal is too short a flight, so that'll be just one short stream maybe. Maybe I can do a weekday stream, but I don't normally do. I just do Panama on a quick hour and a half flight for something slow, where we can see the sights off. Who studies it a bit, so hopefully that will clear off. Love the landscape. Love the flow landscape. It just looks awesome. Buy from San Diego down to Panama. Orbex have some good Panama. I've got it. I've got it. Username with how? I've got it. <laughs> that's why I want to. I want to fly it actually. So yeah, but that's a good idea, Brett. That'll that'll uh, extend the flight a little. Good idea. And lots of shipping around Panama. A lot. I flew flew was playing around the other day. Actually, the Panama Canal would be another great place to fly with the uh, with the Tiger Moth, I reckon. If you were just doing the Panama Canal, because that'll give you a reasonable amount of time to check the sites out and uh, make the stream a reasonable amount of time. 
Still probably still knock it over in an hour and a half, or maybe two, an hour and a half, two. Starbug, show us your afterburners, mate. <laughs> We're all, we're all in that Hellcats. Oh no, Misfit is not in the Hellcat. Oh, we're all in prop planes and you're in the... Uh... Here he goes. <laughs> He's turning on full ball. Here he goes. <laughs> yep. What he said. Yep. I think Brett's locked in my next uh, non-Australian flight plan. I'll overfly, ooh, is it Poo-Wa-Wa Ranch? Hotel India 1, 1 at 3 up. 13. Poo-Wa-Wa Ranch. Poo-Wa-Wa <laughs> wa -wa Ranch. You're trying to let me know something, Stu? You're... you're Shaking your wings. Is it a no go, no fly zone? Over this uh, airfield. I love the locations of every single airfield so far. Great locations. I'm not just going to fly over this one, I'm not going to land here.
gonna crash! Launch countermeasures. It's a monster! Kill it! Kill it! Alright, now you can hear me. Alright, so what I was saying was uh, that uh, the crash to desktop was probably caused by overheating because my pod 
was sitting at about 30 degrees <laughs> uh, because uh, it was super hot. So that with a 3090 uh, and a hot PC playing flight sim, so simming and sit flight sim, is probably going to overheat things. So anyway, we're back. And the door's open in the car. You got into a flat speed? Oh! oh! I wanted to see that. Oh, you're over the ocean too. We are heading to uh, the next island. Oh, I'm not going so slow. Yeah, these are the small boats down here. So I'm not going to... Oh, actually, there is another ship coming up ahead. I need, there's a couple of fans, Stu, uh, but, yeah, no problems, Brett. Uh, Hawaii is absolutely awesome, and I know, because you've flown here as well, as well as been there in real life, so that's uh, awesome, but, yeah, there's just a couple of boats, a couple of little yachts down there, it's still not moving, I don't think so. There's a small marina over there. A couple of ships. No one seems to be moving. Oh, you lived there for two years. Holy moly. Hmm. Both are having issues, hey? Have a good stream, Brett. There is lots of ships around the the, the uh, top of this island, so hopefully some of those are moving. Oh, it is. Yes, I can see these ships are moving, guys. One of the ships is doing 25 knots. It was. Now it stopped. Yeah, looks like they are moving. Come on. Yeah, so I do need to get aircon shoot. I know, I know. With a 4090, oof. It's super, super hot. 49 is out of the question, though. <laughs> <laughs> quite a, until I do my next build, I might get the 4000 series, and that's probably not due for another year. Yeah, that's right, Garwin. <laughs> Some people would call it cheap energy. You get to flight sim, or heavy heavy simming, or heavy gaming, and, and heat the sim, so you save on either gas or electricity on the heating. Especially with the price of all of uh, that at the moment. We'll speed up a bit. It's still 220 knots. Stu seems to be smashing it out over there. Ah, oh, that looks good. Got to pay 51, don't you? Yeah. That looks awesome. Good flying. Darwin's recovered from his, uh, he can heat the pool with it. <laughs> uh, that's right. Run some uh, cooling tubes past it and then pump that liquid straight into the pool. Or the bathtub. <laughs> Or someone on YouTube's done something silly like that. Well, right, over overflyer uh, Upulu. Gotta do that, which is just up ahead. There you go. 
One reason I like this plane, single engine, but it takes off five of the six levers on my throttle probably to keep it in the air. Yep. 100%. Get to use all your tools, your controls. Ooh. That down there. Bit of uh, radio antenna of some kind. That's oh, probably for the airport. Uh, okay, so we're flying over here now. We're heading over towards. Uh, left turn. Heading to three, two, six. Yep. So with the, uh, what did you do? Did you obviously bind your, the oil, the cow flaps and oil cooler to uh, buttons or what, how did you do that, Garwin? Because I've got them, but I haven't bound the cow flaps and the oil to anything yet. Well, I've, I've got something similar. I've got the Bravo set up. Oh, because they're single engines, now I've got you. Now I've got you, you, you would have put them to a an actual throttle you would have bound them to a throttle control because you're only using a single engine now i know what you would have done that's a great idea i have not done that yet i am going to do that after i finish this flight i'm going to do that i'm going to set up a profile for those flaps power flaps or all that sort of stuff to be set up um i think i can see the kind of warship is that our first no we have not seen a warship yet. Yeah. Oh, you got two? Two throttle points. Wow. That's awesome. we to get to Honolulu as quickly as we can. Obviously those crash to desktop probably means I'll have to potentially finish the flight at around Honolulu somewhere. Maybe at the, uh, is there an Air Force base at Wheeler? Yeah. Maybe we have to finish it up there somewhere. So hitting here, we're going to head up right up the coast. Uh, potentially, I might actually just fly directly over, guys. Save some time. You have moving ships now. Can't see this ship here if it's moving or not. Maybe it was just that area that didn't have any moving ships. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think this area. So that ship that's there, what are we doing? Well, that says ground speed. It's doing, yep, yep, no, nah, you got moving ships too. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, it was just the area we're at. So we're going to get some altitude guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to cut the flight plan a little bit short here, I'm not finishing up, but we're going to go straight over the island, so we can get to Honolulu, so we're going to head straight over this mountain in front of us, and we're going to head to, uh, to the International Airfield uh, of Kahulu, Papa Hotel Oscar Golf. So we'll head straight over. Uh, I think there might be a couple of sights to see over the top of this mountain, so we'll be able to see those as well. So let's do that. Let's go uh, get some altitude.
hoodie. <laughs> That's cool. Look at the ships down there. The yachts. Hey, cookies! Long time no see. Yeah, mate. He's a long time no see. Been super busy, mate. Super, super busy. Whoa, I'm overheating, mate. I've got a problem. Why did that stop? We're okay. But we're good. No, we got our we got it. Oh oh. Oh 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 Why are we doing that? We got fuel in the tanks. Sure we got fuel in the tanks. We don't have fuel in the tanks. Got fuel in the tanks. Maybe I put the wheel. I turned that off last. I didn't want to affect the stream. Oil temps. That was my fault. So that's fine. Oil temps should improve now because I've opened up the power, the oil cooler shutters. That was my fault. We'll see how we go. Yep. Looks like that settled that down. I'm doing very well. How are you? Lucky I realised that. Alright, I think you might go through this bit of a, a gorge over here. Let's turn this auto car off. Little valley. How about you, Cookie? How are you? How are you doing, mate? How are you doing? Doing alright? Cool, is that my RPM still playing up? That looks like it's alright, man. Been a tough few months. Well, I hope uh, I hope you're doing alright then. Hope it's uh, settled down for you. We're just taking a bit of a shortcut from the flight plan. Sorry, anyone who's following the flight plan. Is everybody on? Oh, no, Stu, everybody's following. That's good. And there's an, uh, an airfield down here. land. I 
have a look at this. Look at the view as you come over here. Done. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, a bit of a wind shear too. That's awesome. Let's make sure we're heading in the right direction here, guys. Yep, we're doing good. Lots of ships up here. Let's hope we can uh, see some more ships. We've, we've finally got ships that are moving, but we haven't seen any more ships yet. So with the seafront Hawaiian Islands uh, shipping, you can basically see warships uh, around. You can see submarines around. We've obviously put a lot of general uh, boats and ships in as well, uh, on top of what would normally be there with their general shipping add on. But we haven't seen them now. Most of them are obviously towards Honolulu, Pearl Harbor. We'll get there. Throw you back on here. Don't need to go, we can go back. We're going to fire for us a bit. Moving more ships all have hard decks too, just need these for oh. <laughs> Not long now, the wait is nearly over for the update. Oh for sure would be. Touch and go. I'm doing a touch and go only here, guys, so we can speed up time. But we've cut a lot off the flight plan, so that was good by taking that. Uh... Detour. There's the wind coming from. Not as easy as it looks. Landing on them is a challenge. All right, we should be able to come in here and do a touch and go only. Let's go and do that. Some ships in the bay as well. Actually, a lot of ships in the bay. You see two ships? Yeah, she's got some ships in there. Can you see warships though? That's what we're looking for. Only ships. No, no warships. Yeah, plenty of ships. And they're moving, I can see that. All right, we're coming for a quick uh, landing over here. Touch and go only, so The fuel looking like it, look, 34%. That's on the right tank, anyway. Just off to my two o'clock. Alright. 
Oh, I can see one there, I think. Yep, you're right. One, we'll do a touch and go. We'll fly over it. You are spot on. I can see it out of my right. You guys probably can't see it because I'm on a widescreen monitor. I can see it. Yep, it is. A, it looks like a destroyer or a frigate. You are right. It's only a quick touch and go. We're going to come in pretty fast. I think it's directly in front of me. Gotta go back over the island, Stu. Gotta do a U. Oh, you're checking out the ship too. Here we go, we'll take it in slow. Fast. Yeah, check it out. This is cool. First warship spotted. Bingo, that's it. Username with Hal, you knew exactly where it was. Obviously you've done plenty of flybys. Alright, uh, we're gonna go back over this hill, mountain here, guys. To the other side. Another beautiful, stunning place. Check it out. Ooh, I've got to change tanks. Good find, everyone. First warship. Next one, which is really hard to find, is the submarines. We find those. Moving ones, not not ones that... I've flown the main airports, but not got around all of it yet. I want to find more subs. Well, if you can let us know where some subs are, but we're heading across to the other side of the island now. Oh, this is cool. Hey, Stu, you'd like to fly through here. Come through here. I know you need your F-14. Done it. I'm going to try and land at Zenith on the Halo pad. <laughs> There's the wind power, as I call them, the wind farms. Fly up the coast again. I like how the photogrammetry's got the uh, wind turbine painted on the ground. Painted on the ground.
All right, some time for some low flying. Oh, we're going to go across to the islands over here. Low flying over the island and make it dangerous. 14% fuel. We're nearly bingo on fuel, guys. We go switch that tank. Download our follow gal and let's get some speed. Bring those other ones a little bit. It's pretty flat while we go around it. Pretty much ship hunting, uh, but there's not many around here. One when we go to the next island to the right. Pretty cool. Ooh, nice. That's that's actually really good. And it's something that they I would have said that they needed to have, but if they've already got it, it shows that no one reads manuals anymore. Well, I don't. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to the next island. Very barren island. There's actually nothing here. I thought there'd be something built up. It's probably some sort of national park. Oh, here it is. There is something built up there. Looks like he's on the uh, trying to find some ships and things, but there's not much out here. Heading back across, but uh, to wards for more main islands. So hopefully, we see more ships. So we're going to take uh, 
another shortcut. I've, I've totally underestimated this flight plan, so we'll get across to Lene, uh, which I think has an airport. Yes, it does. There's an airfield. And then we might be just jumping straight across to Panda, I think it is. And then heading across to Honolulu so we can get lots of shipping. Come on, put your hand up. How many of you uh, read manuals? <laughs> I suppose when it comes to tech, I'd probably say maybe not many. Maybe. Done. I suppose a lot of people just go check out YouTube or something like that. They need to know how to do something. Yeah, they are. There is a ship up here on the left, so that could be something. Actually, there's two ships up here on the left of the island, so... You can fly out there and see if any of those are warships. Permanent damage. What's it coming for? I'm not going to hit anything. Interesting. Let's have a look. Button is not going to work soon, guys. Let's state somewhere. Where? Here we go. Only 24 hours. Got no damage. Everything's looking good. Where's the permanent damage? Does it have their name in the... Uh, yeah, it's Massive Area Ships and Needles. Does it have their names in the... Nah, it doesn't. So basically, it'll tell me the file that it's coming from. So, example, the ship up on the left here, coming up on the left, is... The file for it is CG16AI. Or are they all that the same name? Huh? No, nah, they're all the same name. Oh, no. Some of them do tell you. One of the ones docked in a harbour tells me it's a trawler. But the other ones just say CG16AI. They're doing 13 knots. Uh, just out here somewhere. It's probably not a big ship doing 13 knots. I'm interested to know how I got this permanent damage. Very interested to know. Ah, yeah, makes sense. Yep, that's spot on. It's a cargo ship. But let me see then if I can find any. There's CG10, different cargo ship. Oh, there's a whole lot of ships on the right. It would be a warship of some type. No, they're all CG AI. Right, we're getting closer. Go fly over past the cargo ship. IRPM. I've been running 
And that's my other screen, because I've got a screen down the bottom. And that screen might be telling me my RPM isn't that bad. It normally comes up in yellow or red if I've got it on high RPM. But you're probably right, Stu. I've got no idea. Not getting any worse, that's the important thing. I've been running about 75% throttle. I have got the props, yeah. Each of the props are full, so I haven't really claimed those because I just don't have access to them. Sure how many of you are, pl are playing with real fuel set up, but if you need to, there's an air fuel up here. Yet, so probably be okay. For a touch and go. Oh, that looks cool. But the yachts off these cliffs looks really cool. Alright, uh, let's go for a landing. Touch and go, guys, again. Trying to keep us moving. Oh, I shouldn't be landing this way, hey. Bouncy, yeah. We found a cargo ship. Awesome, Stu. Alright, we're not going to go back up the mountain. We're going to go across so we can get to Honolulu as quickly as we can. We're already approaching 2 hours and 15 minutes. Those uh, crash to desktop slow us down. I'll just uh, throw you back on autopilot for a moment. I'll have a look where we're going. Uh, so we'll just head... I'm going to have a look at some of these ships. Panda, yeah, we'll head towards Panda. That's uh, Hotel India 49. And I'm just going to see if I can find any of these ships that potentially could be your ships. Um, Oh, there's heaps popping up now.
Just follow me, guys, because uh, I've totally changed it. Flight plan <laughs> on the go. You're probably all cursing me. But the flight would have went for maybe four hours because we had all those issues. Well, I had those issues. I ran at high RPM there for a while there, Stu, and it didn't go up. Just to test it out, it didn't go up at all. Manifold pressure went up, but that's obviously dropping back now that I've set it back. So I don't know. Especially when you look at the workshop. It's not telling me anything's damaged. Or other than the 24-hour inspection. Oh yes, you found another warship. That's what, sorry, not warship. You found another cargo ship out there. Crawler, is that a trawler? Yeah. Doing some fishing. Be right back, I need a drink. Yeah, no problems. I want to do the same while we're flying over here. of ships. Looks like all cargo ships there. Don't be surprised if there's uh, that naughty CTD words uh, when we get over Honolulu. There'll be probably a hell of a lot of ships around there. Hello, hello, how you doing? And what's been happening? Oh, here we go, let's go. Let's go check out some of these ships. How are you? We're in the Hawaiian Islands, checking out uh, Bit of a scenic flight, and we're checking out the seafront simulations. Uh, not just the general shipping that I know a lot have, but the uh, all the warships and so forth. We've only spotted one warship so far, but uh, we haven't hit Honolulu, which has the majority of them. Uh, more to come. I'm doing very well. 
very, very well, thank you. Ghost ship? <laughs> And there's another one. There's, a, there's quite a few ships around here, actually. We've finally spotted quite a few. But again, no no actual warships yet. One. One warship. So, you'd think there'd be a lot more. Probably just not looking in the right spot. You're welcome to fly with us, Anthony, if you want. Uh, we are in... Uh, I can give you an airfield. We are approaching... Panda, which is Hotel India 49 in Hawaii. Oh, good stew. It's fuel like fuel. Gosh, I need fuel. Hey. There we go. That looks cool. Love that. Let's just uh, get this on here. Why are you doing that? Like that, like that. Got another wall. Let's just do more shit. Let's just do what? Okay, yeah, it's cool, Stu. Dutch makes it such a difference. So more immersive having these things happening in the sea. Hope they bring a lot more, not not just from Seafloat, but other people bring a lot more, not just in the shipping, and not just in other aircraft, AI aircraft, but other things that happen. Uh, I know it's going to be a bit of a push on the systems and so forth, but great to see things like trains just going. Ooh. Probably a bit better with the vehicles and cars, a little better graphically as well. Oh, beautiful news. Let's check out these trawlers before we head across to the island that should have so many ships that uh, we won't know what to do with them. Several warships. Where'd you see? Where, 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 where? Head across. I'm gonna stay low. Well, we'll be going to Pearl Harbor. Yes, we are heading there now. We're heading there now, Garland. So we're very close to Pearl Harbor. Uh, we should see a hell of a lot of ships as we get over here. Another tanker to the right. We missed several down on the big island because we were on the other side. Alright, alright. That doesn't matter. We're going to find a ton now. I took, we would have actually went down that side, but I wanted to, the flight plan would have been too long. Hey, Boston 24, how you doing? 
Yeah, well, I think there is. This is where I have flown before when I first got it. So hopefully, Darwin and Stu, if you spot any warships out there, make sure you yell out, or anyone who's flying with me today. If you spot warships, let us know in the chat. Cargo over there. I was supposed to do a first flight today. Have to uh, catch up with. <laughs> ah, awesome! It's great to see you in here, Boston. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're spotting, we're trying to spot warships because uh, there's this uh, add-on, I said on flight sim, that uh, puts a whole lot of warships around uh, the Hawaiian Islands. But well, that's our focus right now, is uh, spotting them. Got a tanker, yep, that's the tanker out near Stu. I can see a couple of tankers out there actually. I'm, I've, the good thing about little nav map, you can actually see the ships. But I don't know if it's showing the warships, but it shows all the tankers. So if we go across the more tankers, yep, ooh, a bit of stuttering too. Before we cross to Pearl Harbor, I reckon we might find something on the right northern coast. Damn, there's a lot there. I'm sure I saw a few around here. Spot the warship, guys. Spot the warship. That's what we're here for. What's that one? That's one on the right. I think it's just a cargo ship. So I was just thinking we go up the right side of the coast here, guys, and then uh, we'll flick over the island and straight over Pearl Harbor where we'll see, uh, we know we're going to see ships. Four ships are there. I don't think I've said it for a while, but please smash the like button, everyone, if you haven't already. Much appreciated. We're trying to do about a three-hour flight, so we've already only got about half an hour or so. So we're probably going to land. Flight plane will land a bit short, probably at the end of the island here. Either Wheeler or Dillingham. Upper Hotel, Delta Hotel. Track along the southern side and you should see some. Yeah. Alright. Well, as we approach Pearl Harbor and Honolulu, we're going to see a whole lot. Alright, Stu's got something. Alright, Stu's got something. Cool. Awesome, Stu. I'm on the way. That's a cargo. You paused over a warship. All right. Darwin's used his magical skills and uh, <laughs> and uh, had a bit of a pause for a coffee break and a cup. 
cup of tea or coffee. I'm a bit behind you guys, aren't I? So we'll track over Honolulu Pearl Harbor and we'll keep tracking to the end of this main section, main island of Hawaii and we'll land in the, in the north section. Here we go. Here we go. See how the frame rate goes. Static ship. Still a warship. Yeah, they're popping up everywhere now. Apologies for any stutters that happen here on it. Always does when we approach cities. How good does this look? Coming over, shoot. Let's do a bit of a flyby of this marina area. It looks like a resort. It's a beautiful aircraft, people train. We are in Hawaii and it's actually stunning. We're doing a bit of a warship hunting. This is not a warship, by the way. It's a luxury yacht. Hellcat too, so it is a beautiful aircraft, and it flies beautifully in the sim too. Quite realistic in the handling, which is great. So all the ships and the buildings are blown in. We're heading back. We're going to head back over the city in a moment. Coming out.
Got another one soon. Crazy. Oh, yeah, we've got a good Marina. This is looking pretty, pretty sneak. Alright, I'll head towards you. Yeah, there's ships everywhere over here. We're getting to Pearl, getting close to Pearl Harbor here. Where Garwin is. Two subs, yep, yeah, they're the dock subs, I know, they're awesome. We'll get there, we'll get there. Oh, stop. This is going to stutter a bit, guys. I did think this would happen. Mainly, I think it's just as it loads in the airport. I'm going to bypass the airport here anyway. What happened, Garland? Are you sad because it stuttered? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Boats everywhere. On the marina down there, absolutely chucking it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, USS Arizona, yes. Get back lower now that we're away, getting away from the airfield. Board Island and the International Airfield anyway. Oh, yeah. Bilbo Casino in the F-18. Submarine to the right there. One, two, three, four, five. Two. You want warships? You've got warships. Sweet, I've lost your aircraft, darling. I can see your name, guys. You still commission ship crew that were aboard her at the time can can choose to be in tur oh, oh. Did not know that. A difficult uh going from this angle. US Navy Seventh Fleet. Well, there's enough of them. <laughs> Get some fuel, turn the fuel. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna head uh, back down here. Oh, actually, no, I didn't see all these ships. We're going in here. Oh, let's see this one. Awesome. Check all these ones dropped over here. They're just anchored here. That's cool. Yep. Here they are. I don't know why I can't see your aircraft going. Bye-bye of this and back to the coast. And we'll head to uh far end of the island. And we'll land. Got aircraft carrier. You wanna land on it, shoot? 
<laughs> we'll make sure for the hell cutter if you even have a chance. They had all the realism on anyway. I suppose with the hook we could. I crashed. Oh, you did you try to land on it? F-35s only. F-35s only. Have you seen it at night? All right, I'm going to pause it. We're going to light her up at night so everyone can see what it looks like at night. Stop. All right. Go to night. Probably dusk. Dusk. Pretty sneak. All oh, the boats down there are lit up. The small boats are all lit up. Oh, that looks that looks cool. Super cool. Alright, right, let's head back out. Head up the coast to our new destination that is super beautiful upsea looking cool warships sailboats container ships I paid for all the seafront uh, simulations uh, add-ons so and I would so to everybody who enjoys a bit of GA flying, or low flying, or whatever, even in jets if you're flying low, check it out the scenery. Uh, grab those every single add-on they've got because they look stunning. Like just, just that. Makes things much more immersive. Look at that. Boats docked, marinas lit up. <laughs> uh, just heading up the coast. that weather back today. something here, cranes it.
Just going we're not in the front of the international airport. Nobody will care. That's how it'll be right. We're not landing here, Stu. Uh, we are heading to a smaller, smaller airfield at the front or at the top of the island. I'm going to check all these ships out uh, here. Maybe ship just here. I landed there. It was fun flight. Thanks, Gammy. No problems, Garwin. Thank you. You're a legend. Uh, exclamation mark, Garwin, in the chat. And you can go visit Garwin. He has some awesome, very scenic flights. And I reckon one of the best people to watch if you like gliding. Uh, and especially with the update coming out with gliding, I can imagine. He will be doing a lot of gliding. So definitely throw. Yep, he's done it. Go check out Garwin and his, uh, all his flights. But uh, I'm looking forward to see what he does with the new update, uh, which has a big focus on gliding. I haven't seen this ship, this uh, cargo ship before. Wow. Did that pop up? It didn't pop up. All right, that's not good enough. Uh, Green bot. That is not good enough at all. I did you am not. I'll try. I'll try, Gowan. But that should have worked. If not, I'm going to manually place that in there. There it is. Don't know why that didn't come up. Uh, He's also, he jumps on my construction sim stream sometimes. That's why I've put an awesome streamer in construction sim. But he mainly does flight simulator. That's his focus. He just jumps on with me with construction sim. Uh, so definitely go check out Garland. And I'll shout out other members who have sites as well. I'm looking forward to a lot more gliding as well as possibly doing two times a week after the update. Oh, that'll be awesome. Hopefully we can align one. Or I don't even mind if it's if I have a day off the next day. I don't mind doing a two or three a.m. flight with you. So I will check that out. All right, let's go and land, Stu. We're going to head towards. We'll go inland and Wheeler. We'll go land at Wheeler, which is inland. So we'll go straight down here. We're gonna. As it's nearly three hours in, I like to keep my streams to about three hours. Massive ship got in here. Probably some tons would have helped them out, I guess. Got some barges. Are they barges? Oh, they are too. Nice. Right, just over the top of this hill is our landing for today, a wheeler. Upper Hotel, Hotel India. And I would highly recommend everybody who is watching my flight at the moment uh, to head over and watch Brett. I'll see if I can. I've never done it before. I'll go see if I can do a raid on him. He did a raid to me, so I'll do a raid back. Uh, but uh, Brett plays is flying at the moment as well. I think he's flying. Maybe he's doing trucking soon. Uh, ATS. I actually don't know, but normally he flies. Could be doing ATS. Oh, 
How good were those ships though? Absolutely stunning. Not too much to do up here. Got fuel to burn, let's go. Welcome to anybody who's on the flight. We're coming to an end. We've just done a whole lot of, if you look back on the video, we've done basically ship hunting uh, with seafront simulations, not just their general shipping add-on, but they uh, also got the Hawaiian Islands uh, ships, which has a lot of warships around. So, he's flying, thanks you. So we can definitely send over a raid to him. Uh, we're gonna have to land on, is it? Two four, yes, we're gonna land on two four. Very windy. I think maybe some more of them on the southern islands would have hurt, but I don't know how big the Pacific fleet is. Yeah, no, I agree. They could add a bit more. I'm actually I'm really looking forward to where they go with it. Like, I know they've done some specific around the UK and some of those islands. Sorry, some of those areas around there. They've done some specific marinas and a bit more traffic. But the Hawaiian one's really cool. And they've put in quite a few moving extra ships and things like that. But I reckon they could use their skills not just on ships. And I know they've named themselves Sea Front Simulations. But I reckon they've got the skills to do other immersive elements of the flight of flight sim. Thanks, uh, thanks, username with help. I appreciate it, and thanks for your guidance. Your guidance has absolutely been a pleasure because we've obviously flown most of these places. Um, I know we didn't spot everything, but we would need a lot more time to do that. Ah, yes, it is. And I think uh, I will be definitely... Up. I don't have that. So I tend to grab a lot of atoms, but I don't have that one. As I said, everything so far I've got of there, Seafront Simulations, has been a winner. And the Virgin Islands. Yeah, I've seen some nice uh, videos of that. Let's see how bumpy this is. This Really bumpy. Bumpy. All of this. Go to the stew. Any other recommended Aussie add ons, must haves? You know what? There's not too much. Like, I've got pretty much all their airfields. I uh, love all their airfields. Uh, pretty much from everyone and anyone. All the, all the paid out on airfields. I've got most of them in Australia. They're pretty cool. Uh, I will... The problem with the one I'm going to recommend is he hasn't been around. He's this ind independent developer, Bijan Studios, the weather, the... 
the uh, fauna and flora and all that sort of stuff. Or fauna. I think basically, that is pretty cool around the whole world. But what's really good, it's the um, islands, I think. Islands one. He has not just a just a scenery one in terms of trees and and things like that, which work out to be pretty similar to what's in the real world. But what he's done is he's done some specific areas around the world and he's done quite a bit around Australia. There are only like certain marinas and that. Uh, there's a lot on the Gold Coast. Uh, there's some in Western Australia. I think there's some in Tassie. Uh, there's a few things he's done. Little little areas. They're tiny areas. So it's really only if you're doing GA flying. I know. I know. That's the problem. He was supporting so much. Um, and then he's disappeared. But I heard he might be on the way back. So from wherever, whatever happened. So if he does, then I would say pick that up again. But for support wise, because who knows... With all the updates that affect things, they won't get fixed. So I actually, this has got, I ran today with uh, BJ on. So if you, if I get out and do this scene, a lot of these trees, you'll see, a lot of these trees here are Bijang trees and shrubs and things like that. So you got a lot of the normal, but a lot of the other stuff, especially some of these smaller palms and stuff like that, are specific from him. He redid a lot of them, so which is pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to end the stream here, but uh, that's probably it. That's what I'd recommend. Uh, but he's got not just the, not the seasons one. He does another one called Islands and something else. Get that because that's got some really good GA stuff to fly through different spots around the, around the world, especially in Thailand and stuff, uh, Vietnam. Some really really cool stuff. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Stu, you're a legend. Garwin, you're a legend. Uh, and everybody else who flew with us, go check out Garwin. They also work as a dot. Oh, I missed something. You can close your cow flaps when flying, only open during landing and taps. Yes. I could have closed those. You are right. Um, and you can use them as dive brakes. Yes, I, I did notice that when I put my dive brakes on, they open and close, so I can control them that way. You are right. But... Thanks, Goomba Train. Uh, thank you, username withheld. Thank you, Stu. Uh, thanks to everybody else. Go check out Brent Plays. I'm going to go work out how to send everyone across in a second. Uh, but you're all legends. Uh, thank you very much. And I should probably turn my engine off. Just uh, do this. Battery, we can turn you off. Yeah, we can turn. Yeah, we should have done all this. Later. I know, I didn't do it in the right order, but oh, why don't you work? That way, oh, good, all right. Don't forget this. I should have landed with the canopy. You always should land with the canopy open as well. Yep, yeah, I'm going to try. i got to work it out how to do it, Stu. Uh, all right. Uh, let me just do my send-off. I'll do my send-off, and then I'll do that. Uh, so let's go. Let's go. You're all legends. Smash the like, subscribe, all the rest of it. But uh, love that flight. That was the best.